Good evening, friends. I am Shipra Sharkar Banerjee, Associate Professor of Brainware University. I have come again for some interesting information and some giving some fruitful information to the students and everyone. So now today, uh, I was, yesterday I was talking about what are the different job opportunities of a D-Firm and B-Firm. But today I will be discussing about the job opportunities and the how to crack the interviews. So if you want to crack the interviews from a highly reputed organization, so there are some etiquettes, there are some principles. So you have to learn the principles in a very good way. So I have said that after D farm, so you can go for the different pharmacist job, different stockist job, different distributorship and different government job also. So for different parameters of interview for the uh, private to government, there are some protocols. First, uh, whenever you are going for an interview, you should learn in which company or in which organization you are going to give the interview. So take a brief data or brief information about the organization, when it was established, when uh, it was started, by, who is the founder and what is the work this is doing on, the company is doing with what type of work. Suppose you are going for the pharmacist, pharmacist job and you are going for the pharmacist first. So you should learn what are the different uh, medicines are available, what are the different adverse effects are available, available can be over, over there. So uh, if the interviewer asking you questions what do you know what are the different type of drugs or different medicines we sold so you should know very well what are the different schedules how can you keep the drugs in different storage area what are the storage condition this should be very known and uh, for cracking the interview the second point is your appearance your etiquette that should be very important for uh, coming to the interview room so first of all you should take the uh, permission of the interviewer so good morning sir may i come in just if they say yes come in then you can enter and you stand erect and ask or wish them good morning sir good evening sir or good afternoon whatever they want to say then if say say something please have a take a uh, seat or please have a seat like this then you should thank you again or if they're not asking say asking anything so you can ask so may i sit then if they permit you then you should sit and wherever you are sitting you should say thank you sir or thank you madam thank you everyone so next question then they will ask uh, what's your name or give a brief introduction and where you coming from so first of all you should not only start uh, how i am like this role so you have to start with the wishes good morning everyone or good morning or good evening or good afternoon good afternoon everywhere to the present over here so then introduce yourself the introduction should be your name then your father's name where you coming from then your educational qualification then your some extracurricular activities and then hobbies like this this will focus on okay so whenever you are just discussing about your topics now you should discuss that uh, um, what are the strength you have and what are the um, if they are asking what are the difficulties you can handle then you should ask them uh, in job prospect you know very well what are the job you have to handle then whenever you cannot give any answer of that question the given by the uh, interview then you can say uh, sir i have forgotten about this now I have to study then uh, if you are saying that um, you are just giving wrong answers that will give false interpretation to them so if uh, they are asking that uh, rather than the academic courses or rather than the professional courses then you should handle it very properly very confidently and whenever you are just talking with them you should have a eye to eye contact so you are confident enough and suppose you cannot answer some question or some like uh, the questions given by them then uh, you can say sorry so then uh, if they are selling something or if they are saying something then you can listen properly oh yes sir i have remembered this then i will try to improve my knowledge so after the interview uh, they can ask you some documentation or they can verification they can do some verification of the documents then you should properly handle it you should properly show them then if they have any doubts you should handle properly you should answer it properly then after the completion of the interview you should come out from the room having a saying a very good day or uh, very goodbye goodbye not not only say goodbye have a great day sir goodbye thank you sir thank you for giving me the opportunity to come over here to give me the interview okay. so 
so for the interview in the multinational company what is the dress code suppose you are in a female so you should wear if there is some ethnic wears then you can wear the sari very well it's very good looking then uh, if sari doesn't comforts you if you wearing sari but cannot walk properly and just wearing uh, coming towards them and your walking style is not proper so they can reject you you are not confident i have seen many ias interview so they will be saying that i have seen your appearance and your sari wearing style is good but you cannot handle it properly so that gives a negative impression now if you are not comfortable with the sharis then you can wear the salwar kameez also then uh, if there is any formal dresses criteria like formal dress for different mnc different database company different it sectors of all way you can wear the formal tish formal shirt and formal trousers not the jeans and not the very colorful very bright dresses that should be very soothing to your eye like white like peach color that's i have weared uh, very uh, light soothing yellow color or uh, sky blue light uh, green light pink or light sky blue uh, these are the very uh, sober class which can uh, reflect your good personality you should show a very good personality to them okay like for the government job so where you can show the confidence about why you are coming to the government job what are the challenges you can face and how can you handle the problem jobs people having a tendency for the security when coming to the government job you should not answer like this way because um, for the security person for the security purpose obviously everybody is coming but you should say as i am a indian citizen i can contribute many things to our nation so that's why i want to go for the Uh, government job so it is very lucrative to me and i will try to serve the nation and the human being and always your answer should be that you are servicing but you are just providing the service to the human kind so that's your objective now if you going for the production or the quality control or the manufacturing then you should properly answer what are the production criteria what is the room specification for the gmp good manufacturing factories glp what are the good laboratory factories what are the room specification what will be the sizes what are the instrument should be available there how the room floor room um, wall room ceiling different type of criteria should be there you should know very well so for the qc and quality control and quality assurance parameter you should know what are the different <coughs> quality control test done for the tablet capsule syrup and different another formulations so sometimes it happens that you don't know the properly the well answer so you have to say uh, sir i'm not uh, i cannot remember now this name but if i given the opportunity i can study well and give you the proper result now for the teaching whenever you are coming for the teaching position uh, if you given a topic to teach then you should choose a very simple topic and not very tough topic because if there is tough topic and there is an ambiguity to answer so they will reject you and they will give a negative impression so for the easy topic which can you elaborate easily and if you man uh, can make the um, interviewer present over there in a very simple way they can impress you it is not that they can show the intelligence in between you you are talking a very high fi topic and you are discussing about this and there are some uh, hesitation or you are just stumbling about that so that is not the good criteria so that's why when you were you are just handling the teaching position you should choose a very easy topic and very easily you can answer it and among that part whenever they are just asking anything so if you are student then you can answer properly or if you have not the confidence enough that you cannot answer it then you can answer so i have remember i cannot i cannot remember it i will uh, discuss in next classes like this way you can go now coming for the different pharmacovigilance or different the it sector job so you have to uh, answer very properly about the dosage about the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamic study and you should know the adverse effect and you should know the different marketing studies is also 
now coming for the marketing job for the marketing job you can study very well about the market scenario what are the strength what are the opportunity what are the sort analysis that is the strength weakness opportunity and threat this sort analysis should be very uh, studied very well and uh, for a company's sort analysis is very important whenever you are just appearing for the interview for the hi-fi company or the mnc's you should know hi-fi company always facing challenges and they have many targets and many risks that's why their interviews are tough uh, for the marketing you should have the uh, two wheeler or two wheeler license so that should be prominent and you should be very confident about having two people riding capacity and you can handle two people and whenever you are just answering whenever there is a trouble in the environment how can you handle the environmental difficulties you should properly handle suppose you are facing rain whenever you are going to job how can you handle how can you go there so you should not show any excuses there was rain you have to reach with whatever the difficulties with raincoat whatever the traffic and whatever the things you should reach and you should show your efficiency to the job next uh, for the uh, good appearance then good behavior then good smile and this are the good etiquettes and good dressing sense and first of all confidence in your talking and then eye to eye contacts these are the good criteria for cracking the interview thank you everyone thank you